Hello, I am Quinn from buymeaniphone.com and this is the video review of Aftershock. Available in the app store for 99 cents. Hey guys, this is Quinn from BuyMeAnIPhone.com and this is my video review of Aftershock, a game available in the App Store for 99 cents. Now Aftershock is a very interesting game because it's one of the first games I've seen that's integrated the in-app purchase option that became available in the iPhone 3.0 OS software update. The point of Aftershock is really quite simple. There's five types of gameplay, two come with the original game, and the remaining three you pay 99 cents. So the first two come for 99 cents and then remaining three times single life and countdown come as an additional add-on pack for another 99 cents. Classic is really quite simple. You have these circles and when you hit a circle they expand. You set up your circle and when the other circles run into it, it eliminates the object. So in example, I'm going to go right here, and I was supposed to eliminate 4 out of 15 objects. I did so and therefore complete the level. Now it gets more difficult as time progresses. Now I have to eliminate 6 out of 20 objects. You go and find where you think it may be best, where all of them will run together. I'm going to say right there. Oh, see that didn't work. I needed one more. So let's try again. I put my orb down, that one ran into it, that one ran into it. There's not a chance. No. Needed four more. All right. Now. See, I was one away. So as you go further, it gets more difficult. Your points are awarded based on how you beat it, the amount of circles or items that you destroy, and the speed in which it happens. So the more chains, all the other things, the more bonuses. There's a base score and that's essentially how many you eliminate and then the other scores may be if I pass the level in one try. That didn't work. Now one thing you may notice is the sounds are extremely annoying and that's because I inputted my own sounds. That's one thing that's really interesting about Aftershock is you have your name and you have sound effects, but you can edit the sounds. That's one I've recorded. If I revert it to the original, I can record my own and that's how it shows up. So let's go into edit sounds and revert all of them so you don't hear my annoying voice. There we go. And we are ready to go. Now, high scores. There's a local score and a world score. So that's interesting and you can obviously compete with those around the world. There's a help guide, which is really quite simple. It just tells you how to play in the basis of the game. And then there's a few extras. And that was game modes one. I've already purchased that. Now there is more expansions coming soon. But for right now, that's all it is, and I've already purchased it for 99 cents. <laughs> so if we play the game in multi-shape mode, it's really quite simple. The shapes just do different things. Triangles get a lot bigger, but then decrease a lot faster. Stars, if we can find one, now they're all triangles in this level. <laughs> so this may be harder, we'll skip this. Uh, stars fling around and try and hit other objects. There's timed mode where you have three minutes to hit as many as you can. There's a single life where you have one chance and uh, you progress on so I have to delete four out of 16 objects. That's really not too difficult but there's not a lot of them floating around so I may struggle. Alright, now I progress to the next level. But let's say that, ooh, this time I have to get four out of that and I didn't actually reach it. Darn it, I did. Why am I so good? Um, let's say I had to get four out of 18 objects, and oh, I didn't. Dang it, I'm gonna keep getting it. I'm just too good for you guys. Too good for this game. But this game is really entertaining. Let's do four out of 19 objects. Where's no place? There you go. So none of them hit me. Fail. Game over. And there's one last gameplay mode, and that is countdown. You have to place as many explosions as you can in a 
designated amount of time. And uh, no, excuse me. Uh, you have 30 orbs and you want to see how far you can get with 30 shots. So I have to delete all 12 objects. Ooh, I mean, I have 30 of them, but you want to use them as best you can so you can progress further and further and further with fewer orbs. So Aftershock is a really, really neat, fun, and intuitive game. It's a lot different and not your average game. For 99 cents, I think it's well worth it. Silton Solutions did an excellent job at putting it together. I found myself coming back to it again and again. There's something about it that's just so addicting. I love the gameplay, especially classic mode. As for the expansion pack, timed, uh, single life, and countdown, they're fun, but I don't know if I've gotten my 99 cents worth. I've really only played classic and multi-shape, and that's what you get when you pay the original 99 cents. So after all thoughts put together, Aftershock is an excellent game. The base game itself, I'd say 10 out of 10. It's that good. Sound effects are very funny and entertaining. The gameplay is well laid out. I've never had problems with it crashing, never had problems with it freezing. Way to go. And uh, it's very, very gripping. As for the additional expansion pack, I don't know. For 99 cents, it just seems like there's not enough gameplay to it. It does add quite a bit of gameplay, but not my type of gameplay. I'm more of these progressive gameplay levels uh, versus these countdown single life and timed versions. So the game itself, 10 out of 10, absolutely phenomenal. Excellent, excellent game. It's a must buy in my opinion and is sitting on my third page. I use it enough that I haven't stuck it into a category on my jailbroken iPhone. So I really, really like the way it's laid out. I really like Aftershock and uh, think that if you like that type of game, uh, Aftershock is definitely worth a look. Silton Solutions, great job, and I can't wait to see what's coming from your company in the future. This is Quinn from BuyMeAnIPhone.com. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.